in 2017, I was fed up with Facebook. And I was like, let me explore Instagram a little bit. And I went on Instagram and I was like, oh, wow, this is amazing, super cool. Like, I was inspired by people I was following. It was like fresh new, like a fresh perspective in a way. And it was way easier for me to connect with people who were outside of my friends and family network. And I also found it was easier to connect internationally with people. So I, I was really enjoying it. And I decided like, okay, I'm going to leave Facebook for what it is right now. And I'm just going to be on Instagram. I enjoyed it. And I'm so grateful for Instagram, for Instagram and the people on it, because I met amazing people. I made friends. I went to events. I even went to retreats. I followed courses. I learned so much. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for Instagram and the people on it. But yes, then 2024 came and I started to feel things were changing within me, but I couldn't pinpoint it yet. And previously, like in, in previous years, I been taking breaks from Instagram and I always enjoyed them a lot but they were temporary and I also always was fine with going back and looking back at it now taking a break from Instagram is a bit like going on a holiday and then really leaving Instagram permanently is like moving abroad or that's at least how it feels for me and I'm going to be completely honest in this video here with you. And I want to start with sharing the first thing that triggered my thinking in like, why am I actually on Instagram and do I want to be on there? Because that's actually how it starts, right? We're all just on that app and then suddenly we are like, hmm, but wait a minute, it's like, why? And how does it make me feel and everything? And so what happened with me is I decided to go for paid ads. So I guide people in their personal development, in their spiritual development, and I had created a free starter kit. And I was like, hey, maybe there are more people in the world who are interested in this. It was a starter kit to enter 2024 in a beautiful way. And so I decided to try these paid ads. And at that time, I wasn't very active on Instagram because I was also on a holiday. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, what's happening? Like people were signing up, people were going to my website, were coming on my newsletter, and I was like, hmm, I wasn't active on Instagram, but I was getting like clients or or new people. And so it was the first time that I was like, so wait a minute, I don't need to like actively do a lot on Instagram and engage to maybe reach new people. And it's strange because in a way I already knew that rationally, that like a lot of people do that way, but it It was almost as there was a click or something at that point. And yeah, it just made me think, you know, but at the same time, I also realized like, whoa, this app or social media is is really like a business machine in a way, right? Like, or money machine, like people getting ads and like advertisements from bigger companies, smaller businesses. And it's not good or bad, in my opinion, like, um, I mean, because I've I've seen amazing ads and, and, and followed someone through that ad and stuff like that. But yeah, I was just thinking like, hmm, it's actually interesting how the dynamics are now. And it felt also different from the beginning of, of when I was on Instagram, right? And yeah, that's like something that I also missed eventually, like just randomly posting a picture how it used to be in the beginning when I was on that app. And I'm not saying that's not possible anymore because um, actually I think if if I would just use Instagram personally, like for myself and not for my business, maybe I would be fine with just posting something, be happy, happy with it and doesn't matter who really like sees it or how many people see it but like when because I was also on Instagram for my business I was a bit more like in that energy like oh I want like you know to engage with people create community that new people find me and all that all that (laughs) and the thing is what I felt what was happening within me was that I was trying to adjust myself to Instagram even better, I was trying to adjust myself to algorithm. 
So what happened? For example, it is said, oh, use hashtags, that helps. Okay, got it, gonna use hashtags. And then, oh yeah, you should post comments on, on their other people's posts, that also helps. All right, gonna do that. And oh no, you should not post your story right away. Wait before your previous stories are gone. Okay, gonna do that. Yeah, oh wow, now suddenly they're real. Gonna make it real. Like, oh, but you should you should make that type of real. That works better. Okay, yeah, 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 no problem. I'm gonna do that. And then try to find the right music. Like, take the music. Okay, gonna do that. Like, wow. Why, actually? Why? And, yeah, well, that was just a bit like, blah, like, whoa. <laughs> Once I started to see that dynamic within myself, I was a bit like, whoa, this is completely crazy. And the thing is, my head was actually also full with it. Like, I was thinking a lot about it. And, like, it, it, it was taking up space. It was a kind of noise, let's say. And what also happened was that I had an original idea, let's say. But then, like, I would change, shift, switch, treat the idea so that it would be forming better on Instagram. How authentic is this actually? And it's such a killer of creativity too. Because there is something creative coming through you and then you're changing it because it would work for the platform. So in a way, for me, it's also like it kills the idea that comes from spirit through you. Or through me. That's how I experience this. And towards the end of 2023, something else happened. And let's say that was maybe another trigger. Uh, suddenly, I had a huge drop in people viewing my stories, liking my posts, like just a, a huge drop. And of course, I can have many different reasons why that happens. I was seeing a kind of dynamic, so I wanted to experiment with it. So I started posting things that I knew wouldn't have a lot of views because the posts or the topics who aren't popular with Instagram. And then I would also post other pictures or things that I knew would be very popular with Instagram. And so it was crazy because the popular things or the things they didn't want people to see, let's say, were like 40 views. And then the other things would be like 400 views. And yeah, I don't want to go completely into shadow banning here and everything. But for me, I knew it was something people were talking about. I never really experienced it myself until these weird drops were starting, right? And yeah, it does something to you. And I just realized, like, I don't want to support an app that chooses for us what we can follow and see abundantly and whatnot. Yeah. And... I also noticed, actually, that I was not necessarily more happy after being on Instagram. Even though I try to like create a healthy and nice environment for myself on Instagram by choosing who I was following and all these things, right? But it didn't really make a difference. And I see there's like two things that happened. One thing was that there were... Rights within me, they were coming to the forefront. They weren't my nicest version, or not, not, not the version I liked of myself. Right? I became more insecure. I became more jealous, or sometimes impatient, because I would see other people that they already had something that I also wanted, or were already doing something that oh, I also wanted to do. Yeah, you know. These pieces, these parts of me, they came to the forefront and it wasn't the version I liked. I didn't like my version that was there on Instagram, but it took me a while to become conscious of it because these were really like very unconscious dynamics that were playing out. And I mean, I don't want to judge these parts within me because I know them and I also do healing work and stuff. So it's also, in a way, it's also perfect material to work around, right? Like if these things come up. But for me, it was just too much. It's different to have a difficult emotion or a challenge or something once in a while or like very frequently because you're using a social media app, right? <laughs> and so that's one thing. One thing was 
the the version of myself that I that I was becoming because then I was even checking like oh how many followers or how many likes like eh, why normally I don't care about these things so it's it's interesting how you can be like sucked into a weird loop and so the second thing that I also feel that has to do with me not being more happy after being on Instagram is that there's just a lot of energy and impulses. Like the amount that comes at you is crazy. It's not just like sounds and colors and pictures and words. Like, no, there's people behind it. There's situations behind it. There's like world energies in it. And you absorb it. So absorbing it. Even though I know how to protect myself energetically, the way how I was interacting with Instagram, like, it, sometimes it just went automatically, like almost muscle memory, like, oh, oops, I'm already back on the app, <laughs> you know? And then, yeah, you're not always busy with protecting yourself. So in a way, it's almost as if other people and situations were also like in my aura afterwards, hanging around me, in my thoughts, everywhere. And yeah, like it influenced me. In a way, you could almost ask like, who am I with all these other influences the whole time so present it was a lot of noise you know and so instagram itself is also a spirit because businesses projects companies ideas the spirit and so depending on what intention was with that spirit or how the spirit was born that's how like it creates the spirit or the character of the spirit but also you know, so many people are interacting daily with the spirit and feeding it in a way. So there, there is a lot going on with that spirit too. And so that also influenced me in a way. So yeah, it's a lot. And that's at some point, at some point, I decided, let me check my screen time because I realized, oh yeah, I can actually see my phone how many time I'm spending on on my apps, right? So I went to Instagram and I saw I was two hours a day on Instagram. Oh, two hours. Two hours a day is 14 hours a week. So I started counting, right? That's like something like 56 hours or something in a month, which is more than a working week. Oh, wow. And so I realized I, I was just like, that's a lot of time. That's really a lot of time, and time is so precious. It's time I could be spending with loved ones. I could be spending learning something new or, or doing a hobby or doing the things that I actually want to do for a long time, but that I'm always saying I don't have time, you know? Yeah, so I was like, hmm, so if that's taking so much of my time, then is it worth it? Like, is it worth the 14 hours a week? Because maybe it is, and then there is no problem, right? But when I started checking that, I was like, no, actually, it's not. And then more and more, I also started to realize, like, I'm not using Instagram actually for myself anymore. Personal, it's really for my business. That's what I started to, yeah, understand. And then I was like, okay, fine, it's for my business. So am I getting out of it what I need for my business? And then I was like, oh, no, like I am not really getting my clients out of Instagram. I'm getting them through other channels. And I know a lot of people get their clients through Instagram. But for me, that wasn't the case. So I was like, yeah, no, like it, it, it suddenly clicked. Like money-wise, time-wise, energy-wise. Am I getting out of it what I want? No. And for me, time and energy is so precious, you know, because it's very valuable. And yeah, I, you know, I, I did really, really enjoy connecting with people there in DMs or just in different ways. And, you know, the community vibe of Instagram. And I also loved, as I said before, the inspiration, but also how you can get information from people around the world and also visions or perspectives that are outside of like the mainstream or mainstream media and stuff like that so I really enjoyed that but I refused to let 
myself go on the 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 narrative of, of like oh no but you can only have a business if you have social media or oh no you can only have this when you're on social media or this is important like you know because i don't believe that you can create that reality and we're heard so many people in the whole world there are so many possibilities and solutions and options these days so i was like no like there are really other ways of doing things. We're just maybe forgetting that or it's becoming a bit narrower in our view, but no, it can be different. Yeah, so that's what I what I decided to go for in a way. And the last thing I I needed to decide to really quit Instagram and to leave it was when I learned things about dopamine. Man when you go down that rabbit hole, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's really crazy. And I actually realized I was addicted. I was addicted to Instagram. And I know a lot of us are, but it's not really something we speak about often. Meanwhile, I think it's something we maybe should speak about a little bit more. Um, Yeah, but I was addicted and I wish, I really wish I, I would have been able to use the app in moderation. But I couldn't. As long as that app was on my phone, I could not use it with moderation. It just was not possible. And I'm I'm sure there's people who can, who can use it in that way. And that, that's so nice if you can do that. But for me, like, it, it didn't work. And so, yeah, that's the thing. When you use Instagram or social media, you release dopamine. Dopamine is this feel-good brain chemical, right, that we also feel when we have sex or eat delicious food or are interacting socially or are having fun. It's, it's a nice one, I guess, dopamine. And what happens when we use social media, when we're on Instagram, is we're releasing dopamine, but it's becoming a loop. We are getting in a loop. So we're always coming back. We're always coming back to that app because we're seeking something, because we're not fulfilled, because we're not satisfied, and we're keeping coming. So for example, let me give an example here. Let's say you have a post, you made a post on Instagram, and then okay, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And then the first likes and the comments come. So you have this dopamine release, right? Dopamine release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after a while, it's finished. So then you're like, oh, I want this again, I want dopamine again. Right, so then it happens. You try to do something again. That's the loop. But it can also be with scrolling. Like for example, you're scrolling on Instagram until you find something that gives you that dopamine rush. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the thing is, if we use social media, what can happen is that we get too many dopamine rushes so like an abundant release of dopamine excessive release of dopamine the danger with that the problem with that is that it can create a deficit in our brain like our brains can literally change it affects our frontal cortex in brain or whatever that area is and that has an effect on us what happens is that we we experience less pleasure in our lives when we're not using social media so that creates prediction and that creates or that can have an effect on our mental well-being right and especially now with reels reels are these very short videos so what happens is we get a very quick reward our brain gets a very quick reward but we also create a shorter attention span and what happens is that we need more dopamine in less time And the effect of that is that slower activities aren't so interesting for us anymore. We don't feel motivated. We don't feel satisfied with it. It is boring. Slower activities like a slower movie or maybe a slower conversation or, you know, maybe for for children in school. It it doesn't work anymore. What I'm saying now is slower activities, but real life is slower than these reels <laughs> so in a way real life becomes more maybe boring or less interesting so yeah it's it's a lot and for me learning all of that was yeah mind-blowing it, it really changed things for me and made me decide to 
really quits Instagram, leave Instagram. And that's what I did. And now I think I'm one and a half month of Instagram, yeah, and um, I feel great. I feel grounded. I have the feeling I can go more into that slow living. And I feel really connected to my inner voice. And there's just not all that noise that I was talking about. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's an interesting journey. It was a little bit scary to to leave Instagram in the beginning. But I just find it more important to really live in alignment with my values and in integrity and that was just the best decision for me and sometimes in the beginning what I also had was and I was like oh but you know this fear of missing out everyone is on the app and I don't know what's happening there and you know I and I even felt I wasn't really in connection with people but then if I asked myself is it really true that you're not in connection like no, actually, I asked myself, are you really in connection with people on Instagram? And so then I was like, hmm, yeah, just checking someone's story or seeing someone's post is not really connecting. You're updated. Yes, you're updated of people's lives, but isn't it really connection? And so I realized like, oh, it's true. Just one on one, deeper conversations with people. That are the things that are nourishing for me, that are fulfilling me. and then. That, that fear disappeared as quickly as it came. So yeah, that's my story about why I left Instagram, why I quit it, and I'm still very happy about it. And I believe it's a topic of our time, something we also could talk about more because I think it's important. It has an effect on our well-being. And I'm actually curious about you too. Like, does it have an effect on you? How is your relationship with Instagram? How does it affect your life outside of being on Instagram? Have you thought about that? Super curious. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening and until the next.